Welcome everyone, this is Bode's Edmonton Real Estate Market Update for February 2023. This video is going to quickly show you what's happening at an overall level in terms of Edmonton's property market. And then I'm going to show you where you can find all of the same trends and supply and demand and pricing for your own specific neighborhood. So, but first, let's dive into the overall Edmonton data. First, we're going to take a look at Edmonton's uh, number of new listings to come to market each month for the past five years. So this chart shows you here that in 2022 and the pink line had quite a high level of new listings, particularly in the spring and summer months. And then it kind of came back down to normal levels. Right now, new listings are about average for this time of year. So at the end of January, new listings close to what they would typically be uh, in previous years. If you take a look at the sales side of the equation, again, that in 2021 and in 2022, sales are incredibly high, again, particularly in the first half of the year. But 2023, off to a slower start, comparable to pre-pandemic years, but significantly lower than 2021 and 2022. So still sales happening out there, absolutely. Still reasonable levels of activity, but not, not as many sales as the last two years. And then if we take a look at the overall inventory picture, you can see that um, inventory in 2022 was considerably down compared to previous years. But in 2023, that's kind of climbed back up now. We're back closer to comparable levels of inventory um, in pre-pandemic years. So down about 7% versus the last five years but much closer to what historical long-term averages have been than most of 2022. So what does that all mean for Edmonton pricing? Well, this chart here shows you what's happened to prices in Edmonton over the last 17 years. So you can see right at the very right hand side of this chart, prices went up quickly at the start of 2022. Um, but then for the last eight months, they've been steadily declining. And again, the most recent months, prices have come down um, and they're down now year over year as well. So all those early gains made at the start of 2022 have now been wiped out and prices are now lower than they were this time last year. However, the, the good news is, is that prices are still higher versus pre-pandemic levels. So the big question will be is what happens in the next few months? Will we come back down to pre-pandemic levels or will they stay, stay higher uh, and hold where they are? Obviously, all of this information really differs depending on whether you're looking at detached homes, attached homes, apartments, and which part of the city you're looking at. So it's important that you look at all of the same information for your specific neighborhood. And you can do all of that on bode.ca. We have three great tools that you can check out on our website. First one's called Market Data, and that's where you can find out what's happening in terms of sales and inventory for your local community, as well as price trends. We also have a, a tool called Sold Data, where you can find out the sold price of any home that's sold in the last 13 years in, in Alberta. So if you see a sold sign go up and you want to know what it's sold for, check that out. And finally, we have a comparables tool where you can enter eight features of your home and see the most similar active listings as well as the most similar recently sold listings. So you can get a really good feel for what your home might be worth in today's market. So check all of that out at bow.ca and we'll see you here again next month. Thanks.